What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another art tutorial. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit post notifications so you will be notified every time your boy drops some heat. In today's video, I am drawing that boy. I'm Dante. He's a very successful YouTuber that I watch very often. Without further ado, let's jump right into this video. Okay, first thing you want to do, you want to go ahead and grab the picture. Drop the opacity on it. Create you a new layer. You want to come up here. Click new brush. Click OK. Come down here to pressure. And this option only works if you have a digital little art tablet. This is what I use to draw. I got this UG. And I draw right onto the to the screen like this. But yeah, you're gonna need your a digital, a digital art tablet to be able to get the pressure option for Adobe Illustrator. Cause if you ain't got one, you ain't gonna be able to use it. So make sure you have you one of those. Okay, come down to pressure. You can put both of these bottom numbers on, on three. Click okay. And after you click that, you will have this little brush that you see me use in all my videos with the, the sharp points at each end. Okay. Now right, let's jump right into the line work. I like to start with the nose. And this is the most important part of the picture when you're doing the line work is the uh is the line work when you're doing these cartoon heads. So make sure you take your time until you get real good good at doing it then you'll start getting faster with it but until then don't worry about being fast just worry about you know what i'm saying really taking your time and getting some very clean lines another thing i like to do you can look at my brush settings double click onto the brush if you need help making sharper lines like smoother like you know what i'm saying just move move your smoothness up and it'll kind of correct your lines. You know what I'm saying? Help you make sharper lines. Well, that's if you need some help. Just remember what I tell you, man. The line work is the most important part of these pictures so you just want to make sure you get everything nice and clean and if you ain't got a digital digital art tablet or you can just draw right onto the screen you can use the pen tool just look up some tutorials to show you how to, how to use it you know what i'm saying i got some tutorials too you can check out and all you gotta do is learn the basics and just practice with it and you'll get the hang of it. But you can make some real dope, like dope artwork using a pen tool. You just gotta get the hang of using it. Okay, now that we finish with the line work, what you wanna do is 
You want to highlight everything. Come up here to object, expand appearance, and then you want to click merge on your pathfinder so we can make all our lines one. Then you want to drag this layer to this blank sheet of paper to make a copy. Lock the top copy. And now we finna color the picture. So we're going to find a good little starting color. A skin tone. You see. What that's do. So what you want to do, you want to go to your rectangle tool, drag it over the whole entire picture. Then you want to go to, you want to right click the rectangle, go to arrange, send to back. And you'll know if you did that step right, if you look over here at your layers and you see your black line work on top of the color. After you do that, you want to highlight everything together then you want to click merge click off of it click back on to it right click it isolate select a group now we can click colors individually and switch them up change this to uh, make that hat the same color This part, bright gray. Uh oh, these eyes. You want to uh, select more than one area so you can color them all the same color. All you got to do is hold shift and click onto the area you want to color. All this white. This white. This. Another thing I like to do so I don't make a mistake and click onto the line work and move it, you know what I'm saying? I drop this tab down, I go inside of it, I stroll to the end of the line work and I lock all the line work layers, but I do not lock the color layers. And I don't lock these top two so I can still color everything but it won't move or adjust the black lines so after you do that you want to close it but make sure you don't lock these top two close it and now let me see I can click this area right this arrow right here and I can click onto the onto the black because it won't select it and I only select what's unlocked. So let me see. Oh shift to get all these areas. I'm 
And I just do that so I won't make a mistake and avoid clicking onto the black lines. I'm gonna make got our base color down just say just say you you're not happy let me see if I don't know why this camera tripping just say you ain't happy with the colors you got and you don't know how to change it without like really going in and manually changing it all you gotta do is highlight everything go to let me see is it just come right here, stroll down to edit color, and you click this right here. You can click the first one. Click OK. And all you gotta do is come right here and click all. So there, there go all the colors we use for this picture. So you can go in and adjust. You can adjust all these little sliders until you get it how you want it. I just thought I should show you that since I never, I see I never mentioned it in none of my videos, so. It's a little tip for y'all if you just wanna go through and you're like, you know what, I wanna play with the colors a little more. shading in between so what you want to do come down here create a new layer and we we gonna do the darkest the dark shadows so what I like to do I like to sample the skin tone then I find a good balance out of the out of the two, out of the two colors I find what what it look like a good shadow for the color that's under it Okay, now we finna start. We finna start the shading process. Create another layer under this one, and we're gonna go a little lighter. So, let's click 
skin tone. Let me just go make it a little lighter, uh, in-between color from the darkest shadow. 